Minnesota, Iowa, Big Ten action. Iowa, six point home favorites, 37 the total uh, in this game. Um, definitely from an Iowa standpoint, uh, after two straight losses to Purdue and Wisconsin, uh, a better performance against Northwestern, but at the end of the day, um, struggling still to separate and win by margin. Uh, and more importantly, uh, in that game for Iowa, uh, quarterback change was made. Uh, Spencer Petras just not good enough. Uh, he ends up going with Alex Padilla instead at quarterback. And uh, look, 18 to 28, 172 yards, at least was a, a little bit better in the passing game for Iowa. But uh, pretty shocking because I'll tell you what, Kirk Ferentz has been pretty patient, pretty loyal here uh, to Spencer Petras uh, throughout the course of his uh, college career. But uh, definitely uh, issues with the passing game. And uh, that has plagued this Iowa team throughout the uh, course uh, of the uh, season. Uh, so it definitely uh, was another uh, bad type of performance for him uh, last week, resulting in Padilla getting the shot there uh, in that game. We'll see how they go here, but I'm not rushing to lay six with Iowa right now. They've, they've sort of, you know, I think they've not been that same group since the uh, Purdue loss. They've actually incurred some injuries on defense as well. And we've even seen that defense, which has been so good. This year kind of struggled. They 27 points against Wisconsin a couple games ago. I know they played better against Northwestern, but Northwestern has no offense whatsoever. I mean, so you can't put too much stock into how good Iowa's defense looked last week. Minnesota, they had their great run since the Bowling Green loss. Four straight wins and covers come to an abrupt halt. They lose outright as two touchdown favorites to Illinois, uh, 14 to 6. Really, they didn't play that bad. They were actually outgained Illinois. They actually outgained Illinois, but Bad day for Tanner Morgan, two interceptions, only 15 of 28, 180 through the air. And for the first time this year, we saw this team struggle to get the run game going. And it's simple as that. When Minnesota can't run the football, it, it's hard for them. And now they're down to, what, their fourth and fifth string running backs uh, this season with all the injuries. So uh, they just couldn't get the run game going against Illinois, and it hurt their chances of winning that game. That being said, I'd lean to Minnesota here, plus the points and a bounce-back spot. I was not a kind of team. They only beat Northwestern by five as double-digit favorites last week. So maybe hopeful, hoping that Minnesota and P.J. Flack have a better game in them here, and I'd lean to them at plus six as road dogs here. What do you think, Connor? Minnesota, Iowa. I lean with them as well. So we talk about it. See, this is where you want Minnesota catching the points. Last week, they've won three in a row. Now they're laying 15, you know, against Illinois. It's the classic spot. Not only, you know, they lose 14-6. I was on both the unders, and at 37 here, I'd be on the under in this one. Even how low this is, these offenses are horrible. Uh, but Iowa's defense, you talk about, it's the secondary. Those injuries in the secondary have got them. But Minnesota doesn't sling it around. So I think this can stay under, and I, uh, yeah, would lean the points with Minnesota. Morgan can have – Tanner Morgan can have those big games, but he doesn't have them very often. And He doesn't have the weapons no. anymore like he used to. And, yeah, he can, but – yeah. Right, the receiving core is not not all that phenomenal either uh, for uh, Minnesota, and uh, you know they've had some good. You know they missed uh, Bateman as well, who's now in the NFL uh, with the uh, Baltimore Ravens, and uh, he was a great receiver for them. And you're right, they just don't have the wideout talent uh, and wide receiver talent that they've had uh, in the past year. I mean, and Chris Ottman Bell's been in and out with injuries all year, and he's by far. And after him. There's a huge drop off. And uh, the good news is he is expected to play. That's another thing, too, why they lost to Illinois. He got injured in the Illinois game. And once he went off the field, that passing game was nowhere to be found. So Chris Ottman Bell is absolutely an impact receiver here for Minnesota. And it looks like he's going to play Saturday, which is good news for the row the boat crew uh, in this game.